Right, welcome back to episode 23 of the Rangers Super League. And to be honest, since we've signed um, Itten and uh, Roof in real life, I thought, why not go ahead and sign them in this now? When this is being recorded, it's not like, oh, hold on, we've just signed them. No, I mean, it was literally about a month ago. Uh, I'm recording this with 25th of August. So you do the math, it's been a wee while since they joined. But I mean, in terms of money situation, Oh, we've got 30 million. Yeah, you know what I mean. I was going to mark it there. So, oh shit, man, we don't have enough money, but we do have enough money because I really doubt Roof or Cedric are going to be big time money. William Saliba would not mind Saliba in um, at the club, but we'll go ahead and try and get Roof first. I'm not going to spell his name wrong. Kimar Roof, there he is. He is currently still playing for Anderlecht. We're going to go in there and we're going to jump in. Approach to buy. <clears throat> Might just offer them a player, see what they say like. Someone who just doesn't get any game time here. And if they want money as well, because it gets a body off the books, and that is what I'm all about. Right, player swap. What about our striker options? Right, I like those two. Full backs. Right, we've only got two. Can't uh, we've only got three centre backs. Goalkeepers, right. It's a goalie. Dan, Tam, Joe Ebo, Jack, McCrory. Well, we've got ready to use two in real life, buddy. So how about Ross McCrory? A winger or a centre back? I want to calculate, recreate my own madness. Right, Glenn Middleton. Yes, you will be. I mean, you want a winger. And now you don't want a fucking winger. Make your mind up, man. Right, I'm going to go in with a £7 million bid. Will they accept that? That's a fair offer. Andalax rep says, oh yes, a <laughs> roof. The roof has just been blown off the building, big man. Sporadic. I mean, that, that's a that's a jobber like coming in and just accepting that offer. But hey, man. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna judge it, right? Free your contract. <clears throat> I'll take you up into your thirties, big man. Yes, we're happy to offer roof a free year contract, brother. My client isn't considering adding a release clause to this contract. We assume that suits you. Yep. Why not? I'm not gonna greet over it. Um, he wants twenty grand a week. And we will go ahead and accept that. And there we go. Roof. Kimar Roof has joined the mighty Glasgow Rangers, brother. And uh, what, what's the... I have actually no idea what Itton or Roof are in FIFA. Like, I'm assuming they're like low 70s. I, I, I mean, I doubt there'd be anything more or less. We'll find out. Oh, aye. I've just realised we're not even in the transfer window yet, man. Oh, I, I, that's weaker. That's, that's best of gear. Um, ah well, never mind, it means <laughs> we'll just we'll wait a wee bit of time to sign it and then there's no rush to go and do that now, but we'll dive into today's game against Arsenal at the Emirates and that's going to be a tough one. Oh yeah, it will. Got Aaron Ramsey and Ozil starting in centre midfield, like Arsenal fans are going to go through a nostalgia trip during this game and what the, who's that man, who's that, what's the goalie doing to him? Tap on chat. <laughs> That's fucking brilliant. Messi signs for Donica D, man. Donat finds Traore. Immediately gives it away, man. Brilliant. A Bamiyang player to watch. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, man. Fucking mad, man. See a Bamiyang like in the Arsenal FIFA 20 career mode? I think he, I think he finished on like 34 goals or something in the Premier League. Everything the guy just hit went in. Oh no, and it's Saka. Who's been a minute from the England squad in real life. Don't know why. But uh, yeah, that's probably why, because he's pish. But it's Traore. Come on, son. Playing against previous club. Adama Traore. He drills it into the bottom left-hand corner. And that was me calling him pish not so long ago. But nah, not anymore. Push out to Traore. Can he get his second of the game? Adam Traore goes for a wee finesse, but Burnt Leno, the main man, catching it. Aubameyang goes for a goal, but Strakoshi. With a pretty comfortable catch right out to Big Andy. Andy Robertson. Back heel, it's Pesh and Ozil. He may be Pesh himself, like, but he was never getting to that. Traore, here he comes. Oh, a bit of lovely wee bit of skill. Out to Usman, Usman Dembele, back post, oh what, 
That should be 2 0. Who is that? Martinez? Don't know, man, but Dembele. Right across the front post. Try over there, right? Come on. Who is that? Mesut Ozil waiting for it. Jesus Christ, Ramsey, mate. And then he just lets it run past him. What are you, what's, what's he doing? Right, whip it into Grealish. It was great the first couple of games, but it's kind of just died. Especially his goal scoring, like. Up to Pepe. Uh, I mean, his left foot's better than that in real life. <laughs> Woo, not today, sunshine. It's for Bagandi Robertson. Overlap City, Maitland Niles, you're on your way out, son. Oh no, Robertson. <sighs> pish, 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 pish. And that will be half time, so dog shit. I mean, that is the big man that we traded. Who are we trade him for, actually? Who have I got from Arsenal? Gwendozi? Was it? It must have been, because he's the only guy I've signed. I mean, because Ozil. Or was it Ozil? No, it was Ozil. Aye, I mean, my head's going, man, but try what it flicks up to Big Aaron Ramsey. Right, Usman Dembele, man. Where's he? I mean, it would never have went to him, but where, where, where's the run from the guy? Like, come on. Right, Andy Robertson. Oh, man, does his man. Usman Dembele, just not quick enough. Just no quick enough. Jacka flicks it up. Oh, and he somehow managed to fit it through that gap. Right, Corona. All right, mate, just... But I don't think it was Corona, like, but Holander does his best there, and the goalie was diving for what what reason? Fans try all right, right bowl, I mate. You're getting took to the shops. Whipped in. It's Dembele catches it. Lovely, but Lano catches it also. Yes. Jack Grealish. Oh, quality finish. He's back to scoring, man, and that puts the game beyond him. Goes for a finesse, and it's a brilliant save. That's what the guy's capable of, and now he's about to whip in the corner. Goes to Mustafi, who's just not good enough, and up exhibit A. Ramsey leading the counter, but the ref will blow the whistle. And it's a 2 0 win, it's three points, and that's all we could have asked for. It's Hibs, 24th of October. Let's go. I mean, they've held three big L's in the last three games. Will it be a fourth? Yes, it is. Dembele, Martinez, job done. For episode 23, next episode I might sign in or we'll just scout him for a bit longer. Who knows what's going to happen in the next episode. There you go. So there is St. Gallen. Um, release clause 2.4 million. So, I mean, that is pretty relatively easy enough for me to pay. But in terms of who's up next, it is Bayern Munich, Munich at the Allianz Arena. Best team in Europe at the minute. So, yeah, but let's see what they're doing in the league. Not much. They're sick for one. They're one place above us and also one point but yeah till next time peace